another ROM review we have an emo droid here which is 4.2 version and this is the user interface of settings and now let me show you LM, LM Odroid version which is 4.2 and based on Android 13 and latest uh, security update you guys can see here November 1 and we have the kernel used here 4.9.0 that means the lineage OS plus kernel so that's why uh, you guys will get a stable performance from that custom ROM and we have a very less customization in that custom ROM because this is totally based on lineage OS and you guys already know lineage OS never provides extra customizations just like you guys will get only here we have the network uh, traffic indicator and gestures and we have here a status bar just let me open this and you guys will get here the network traffic and auto hide and show Wi-Fi standard icon and clock customizations MPM and battery percentage that's all we have in that custom ROM that's all okay now we don't have any customizations and uh, at, at first we have here the network setting okay let me show you that uh, what we have here you have open EUICC that means eSIM you have to enable the dual uh, sim we don't need that feature actually in that custom room or in that device redmi 7 okay let me show you here the display settings as usual i will not make the video longer because uh, this is a short or quick review of that custom room and this is really really very stable as i mentioned earlier this is based on lineage os so that's why you can think about it uh, desktop mode is available here desktop mode on pc desktop mode on tv you guys can easily use that feature and here we have wallpaper and style by default we have these features here and then we have sound and vibration as usual the user interface a bit different like other custom roms and we have the battery section here and battery backup is really good till i am using and then we have the safety and emergency that's it nothing more now let me show you the smoothness and the very important thing is here we have auto call recording options and i already checked this is really really cool and it's working perfectly without any problem and we have here uh, a dock i'm using here at the bottom you guys can see and how to enable dock let me show you just go to home settings and we have custom launcher here and you guys can change the icon pack as by default uh, by default icon pack is really good a bit change here uh, after that if you want to change then just click on that plus icon and go to play store and download according to your choice and we can change uh, customize the icon size and uh, extra things are available there then we have the home screen settings status bar top shadow and background opacity hot seat background just enable hot seat background then you guys will get the um, hot seat here and uh, this one then we have the app drawer and we have recent options okay let me show you that here is the recent menu and if you want to join split screen just click on there and if you want to enable split screen just click on it and this is really cool and you guys can easily use split screen both are perfectly working no problem with that just minimize it that's it and now let me show you the important thing which is gcam is working or not and this is lmc gcam the latest one and fixed version google lens you guys can easily use this gcam and i already made video on it if you miss just check out description or i button you guys will get that link no problem and everything is fine in that gcam and now let me show you the cp throttling and which is really really improved and far far better and one important thing this is official custom rom so remember that thing this is official custom rom and you guys don't need to install any kind uh, sorry you need to find g apps and which is nick apps and you guys will get the link in description of both files so don't worry about that and cpu throttle to 90 per 90 percent yes this is 90 percent and you will get better performance in gaming as well now let me show you the geekbench score which is also uh, very amazing and uh, nowadays i already after a long time i did reviews of three custom rom dark rest os and this one and previous one uh, which one is i forgot the name right now uh, we got very 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 good performance in cpu throttling because kernel is really getting changed and improved 
So here we have multi-core and single core, which is really, 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 really good. And you will get definitely better performance and Google Maps and other things are perfectly working. I already checked. Don't worry about that. And all important things is here and I recommend you guys to use this custom ROM as it is very very stable no problem with that you guys can easily use on your daily drive if you have no issues with uh, customizations then you can go with it and if you play uh, a bit gaming you can do gaming no problem with that because the performance is really cool in that custom ROM so there is no issue and by default you guys will get that gcam sorry not gcam this this open cam and which is also good thing you guys can go with it no problem and gcam is working fine and the smooth animations are there so this is it and you guys will get that g the apps link in description so i hope you guys understand everything if you uh, want to ask me anything just drop a comment in the comment section i will definitely answer your question so thank you for watching